Good afternoon and welcome to today's news brief. Today is Friday, March 12th. The Health Safety Committee for the State of Baja California Sur announced yesterday that all the municipalities in the state will continue at level 3, equivalent to yellow, in the health alert system for COVID-19. In addition, the Health Safety Committee confirmed that for Holy Week, all religious acts and events will be suspended from April 1st to 3rd. From March 29 to 31st, and as of April 4, the temples and churches will be able to open at the capacity authorized by the health alert system, being able to celebrate acts of prayer and masses, but not ecclesiastical events such as congresses, stations of the cross, and or processions, neither to the interior nor outside the temples. Also, in preparation for Holy Week and Easter vacations, the Health Safety Committee confirmed that access to beaches will be within the limited and controlled capacity at 50% of the maximum allowed capacity from 7 a.m. to 7 p.m. from March 27 to April 11. Overnight camping and all kinds of musical, artistic, and cultural events are prohibited everywhere, including beaches. The Health Safety Committee continues to ask all residents and visitors to adhere to the established preventive protocols in order to avoid an increase in the number of COVID-19 cases in Baja California Sur. With the arrival of spring breakers, there is more movement in the streets of Los Cabos, even though fewer tourists have arrived this year. Few large groups of spring breakers are seen, and the nightlife is practically nil, with reduced business hours at restaurants and bars. Despite this, tourists still enjoy Los Cabos, as was announced by Lil C. Orsi, executive president of the Los Cabos Hotel Association, who explained that the health protocols must be complied with by everyone. Which is why the Hotel Association will initiate a campaign in the tourist area with announcements in English inviting visitors to observe the social distancing protocols. Orsi mentioned that very few people refuse to comply with the protocols, whether they are tourists or residents. The representative of the hoteliers indicated that the young vacationers are enjoying their time in Los Cabos and have partied without major incidents. That is all that I have for you today. Have a great weekend and remember to tune in on Sunday at 6 p.m. for another edition of Cabo Mill News and Community Update with Corey Riggs and Claudia Velo.